Back to Friday Night Lights, just three games into the regular season. The Otters' home opener set for tomorrow night at 7 p.m. against the London Knights at the Erie Insurance Arena. But first things first, Erie had one last game on the season opening road trip, a date with Mississauga this evening. Opening period, and the Otters getting on the board first against the Steelheads. Liam Gilmartin lights the lamp. His first goal of the regular season, Erie leading at 1 0 after 1 on the road. Steelheads would score twice in the second period and carried a 2 1 lead into the third. In the final frame, Erie gets the equalizer. Brett Brissett punches it home, his second of the year, and we're tied at 2. After a scoreless overtime, the game would be decided in a shootout, and for a second time this season, Erie falls in a shootout, getting a point. As we take a look at the scoreboard here again, it's Mississauga 3-2 over Erie in the shootout. The Otters will make their home debut tomorrow night against the London Knights. Game time set for 7 p.m. Women's hockey from Mercyhurst as they hosted another top 10 opponent, this time entertaining number 10 Clarkson at the Ice Center for a weekend series opening period. And it's Darcy Lappin lighting the lamp. Clarkson leading 1-0. Less than a minute later, Clarkson making it 2-0 on the goal by Kristen McQuig. But the Lakers would finally get on the board later in that first period and be able to cut the deficit in half. Chantal Sequa finds the back of the net. Beautiful feed across the crease there. The Lakers were down 2-1 to one after one, but Clarkson would add another goal in the second period to complete the scoring on the night. And they go on to beat Merciers by the final of 3-1. to one. Same two teams at it again on Saturday. Merciers men's hockey as well, falling 6-3 at RPI tonight. Goals for Riley St. Ange, Kyler Head, and Philip Waugh. Same two teams again Saturday night at 7 o'clock. MLB action. Game one of the American League wildcard series between Tampa Bay and Cleveland. What a pitcher's duel this was, but in the sixth inning, still scoreless until... Jose Siri drives one deep to right center field, giving the Rays a 1-0 lead. But in the bottom of the sixth, Guardians answer immediately. An MVP candidate, Jose Ramirez, hits a two-run home run to practically the same spot. Cleveland with its first lead at 2-1 from there. It was all Shane Bieber. He was brilliant. He would go seven, two-thirds innings, allowing three hits, striking out eight. Emmanuel Classe came in for the save. And the Guardians go on to win this one 2-1. to one. They can wrap up the series tomorrow afternoon at Progressive Field beginning at 12.07. Entering Saturday 2-0 in PSAC West play atop the division and 4-1 overall for the first time since 2014. The Gannon football team faces the rival Fighting Scots for Edinburgh's annual homecoming game on Saturday. The Golden Knights are coming off a 21-10 home win over Seton Hill this past week. Running back Melvin Blanks brings a steadying option on the ground and in the pass catching game. But the biggest storyline for the program involves redshirt junior quarterback Corey Curtis' availability as he's expected to play. But Curtis was rolled up on in the first half against the Griffins, finishing that contest but showing plenty of toughness heading into another big divisional matchup on the road. Everyone on our team knows he's a tough guy, but uh, that hit on Saturday looked pretty bad. You know, looked like that would be it for him, and and uh, he didn't he didn't miss uh, even one play. So um, he's he's a he's tough mentally, physically, and um, and obviously Saturday was proof of that. I don't want to let my team down. Um, I'm playing for something different this year. I'm playing for Dwayne, um, so I, I don't want to let him down. So I'm just doing everything I can to just be out there on the field and make them proud. You know, my guy's a soldier. Uh, that's my guy, Corey. Is true, Corey truly as a warrior, um, you know, and when I seen him get buckled, I knew he wasn't done. Um, and, you know, that shows a great part of not who, only who he is as a person, but who he is as a leader. I'm so proud of him. After the game last week, I ran up to him and said, that's the way to finish the game. He did a lot for this team, and um, we just need him to continue to fight for us. And if, we, if he continues to fight, we can just grind it on our defense and we can win some ball games. All right, here's the local slate. Gannon at Edinburgh at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Merciers visit Slippery Rock at 6 p.m. Allegheny Division Three at Geneva at 3. In D1, Pitt a 3.30 home contest in the ACC against Virginia Tech. Number 10 Penn State open this weekend. And we'll be right back.